Laurent. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty is good. the stream uh the stream is offline? Um, then I'm working we on it. Have to switch over between our video and Nick's, and it takes a few minutes because he has to boot ah, up okay. stuff and got it, got it. Information. Uh, sometimes it goes quicker than other times. Just depends on the occasion. Cool. Uh, so did you? What level did you get to, uh, Nick? I think it was something like level three or four. It was what uh what I got to in the video. It looks like we're live though, right about now. Awesome. Thank awesome. yes, goodness. Yes, <laughs> Getting worried for a second. Are live <laughs> Yay. Nice. So I guess to start us off, I just want to say thanks so much for having me and thanks for putting on this wonderful show. I think this is uh, exactly the type of thing that I'm totally up for doing and, and I really wish more people would be up for doing. Uh, we need to get more developers together, you know, and have these kind of talks. So I'm psyched that we've actually, you know, made that step and I'm happy to well, be here. We're, we're happy to have you. Yeah. I mean, you did uh, uh, one of the first streams of Tiny Plumbers when we first put that out. <laughs> and, and so I always think of you when whenever we're, we're doing a thing like this. Yeah. Tiny Plumbers is such an exciting game, though. I, I really want to play that more, actually. I have to stream that again soon. <laughs> you should. You should. Calvin played it recently, and he's like, wow! I've forgotten how cool it was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but we're yeah. not here to talk about we're Tiny here Plumbers. We're here to talk about... We're here to talk about... Backdoor. An amazing, <laughs> weird, interesting, cool, fun game. Yes. And one that almost kind of goes beyond defining genres for. I actually don't know exactly the best way to call this game. I mean, it's like an action mix with a little bit of strategy. You might call it a little bit of tower defense, but I don't know if that's quite right. There's definitely some micromanaging involved with all the turrets and the strawberries. Yeah, a but lot I of strawberries, but I love the Seriously, strawberries. <laughs> turrets and strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> it actually it works though, in an unexpected way. It works beautifully. There, there's no yellow? I want to be a true Pikachu. I guess I have to go orange. <laughs> I'm going to get uh, sued by Nintendo. I'll say Pikachu. <laughs> it's Pika. Pika. Sorry, sorry, just the Pika skin. Ah, but, uh, there we go. Yeah, no, I, I like the, the different choices here, and uh, that one definitely works for me. So let's start it up. What's that big green OK button? I feel like, should we let it go through? Oh, can I even skip the introduction? I should probably let it go anyway, even if I can. You can skip that stuff, yeah. You want me to? Well, it's up to you, but... You know, the thing with Magdroid that was a big challenge for us is... That the first level feel like... Something completely different than the rest of the game. Right, right, gotcha. But, that's your experience. Uh, yeah. is the sound okay for people in the chat? I'm just curious if I need to balance the volume at all. Yeah. Um, it I looks okay on my end, but, but I just... I don't hear anyone crying out. Okay. <laughs> okay. It takes a second. There's a little bit of light. Oh, it's everybody good. says it's good. Sounds good. All right, Lots cool. of breaks and goods. Awesome. Love the art. Game has changed immensely. Yeah, this is a, a build that... When did you put this build out, Lauren? Like a, a few uh, years. This is the new one. Yeah, two hours ago, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, never before seen. Ba 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 ba. Behold. Styrofoam box. <laughs> that was that one. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea here is that any corporation that starts doing business in an area leaves debris behind them, and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. So you're a farmer returning home and finding that your planet's been uh, messed with. So you have to fix it. Uh, part of it, yeah. Fix part of it. Give up on the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's what the end is about. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this, game, this game definitely has a very unique sense about it, and I, I can't really place it in any other way. Like, it's totally something I haven't seen done. Uh, the, the approach from, like, an art perspective and the sense of character it has to it is just very original to me. Mm. Yeah, it, it's... Yeah, everything from the way the little character hops around to... The way the trees are shaped, yeah, the coloration it, choices. It's... it's very interesting. I honestly don't know how this hasn't been greenlit already. Yeah, like when sure. I look at it, it's so beautiful, and the gameplay is fun and engaging. And it's got all this kind of... It's got this whimsicalness to it as well. It's very an interesting thing, because a lot of it's high-paced and kind of tension when you get deeper into it. Do you want to... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just getting reacclimated here and remembering exactly how the actual gameplay works. So unfortunately it's protected by the lava and you can't blast it. 
And uh, so I'm just going to be looking for uh, places to plant, right? And then I'm going to be building up resources from there. Yeah, the best is uh, you jump up to level 5. That stuff's going to put people to sleep. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I, if I jump to like... level 5, I'm really going to get killed, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I got to so... grab a turret, though. There we go. Alex. Yeah? I heard my name. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, just as a warning to everybody, oh sorry, sorry, just as a warning to everybody, we're experiencing a nifty little thunderstorm here, so ah. we, we may disappear for a short period of time. But Nick, we will rely on you for brief coverage of, yep. of all things if that happens, but it should be good. Should Not be a problem, I'll do my best. Thankfully today I don't have any thunderstorms, although yesterday it was quite the opposite. So, uh, the, the progression here, it starts out real simple, as most style of games with, uh, you know, any level of strategy to them do. Uh, we're just gonna be grabbing some towers and trying to build up some defenses here, and, and just hoping that we can make it through these, you know, pretty weak little wimpy worms. But, uh, they don't stay that way for too long, has been my experience. And I'm just gonna run around and keep repairing all of these. We probably should just keep moving these around to make sure that we're always in a position to keep fighting whatever's going on at the moment. And you can actually target the monsters directly when they're on your back. Uh huh. Like a third person shooter. How do I do that? You just, just click. When, when you have a. Gun and hold it. Oh, yeah, okay. that's right. Or whenever you have turrets, when you click on the ground, try that. See, they, they, will, they will fire where you're firing. Yep. Got it. Cool. Alright, so now I just gotta repair and then we will be done. And now if you, if you right click. Mm -hmm. You can move your camera around, ah, like okay. a third-person shooter. Got it. Oh, that's nice. I love the depth of field effect going on. Laura, so it's, it's, yeah? sorry to interrupt, but is McDroid on Kickstarter right now? Yeah, I just put a Kickstarter, yeah. Oh, um... Do we have a link to that? We should have a link. I can put the link up on the little reminder, because that's great. Because that's... Awesome, people should definitely see that and help out if they can. I send you the link. There you go. Wonderful. You can post it right into the Twitch chat if you want to. Will do. So what is like the overarching story to this, if you could sum it up in a way? Farmer, uh... Farmer escapes from slavery mm -hmm. after he's been turned into a robot, returns to his home planet to uh, find his family, so he escaped. Mm -hmm. He's a shuttle, which is another human being that's been turned into a shuttle. Oh wow! And then, uh, <laughs> and then they are basically trying to save uh, save their family. All right, well, that actually gives some good perspective then, because I was sort of not really getting uh, why, like, how we were approaching this situation, but that actually does make sense. <laughs> Now what you can do is you can skip to the next level by pr by clicking on the gear, the gear button on yeah, the top sure. left corner. And we'll go... We top go? right corner. Yeah, the international right. Actually. I was Explain. confused left and right. Audio, control, help. Quit level. Oh, okay. At the very bottom. And you want me to go to just the next one? Quit level. Yeah. There you go. So you can select level number two. for everybody. McDroid was actually the game that was our neighbor at PAX. PAX East. So, uh, PAX East, yes. Yeah. Just, just this last winter. So, we actually got to meet Lauren in person. And Wait, you yeah. mean Lauren was standing right next to you when I found you guys and I didn't come say hi? <laughs> That's oh, terrible. No. I didn't know that. I, the whole fire. section, that whole section of booths was like foreign to me for some reason and I didn't seem to spend enough time exploring. That's terrible. Yeah, there was in all of those, in all of those conventions and things, there are always so many things to get. You know, I'm just a shock yeah. at the amount of stuff that you find out you've missed when you leave. Yeah, yeah, I tried to spend, you know, hours and hours just looking around for stuff, and I found that I missed quite a few people at the end, which was really depressing. But, yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> it's all even right, worse so... when you're showing, and, yeah. So I found some strawberries here that I need to harvest, and that is my essential resource, right? So I'm going to use that to build and upgrade these turrets. 
Yeah. That's exactly what you do. Collect strawberries, shoot monsters. No. And I mean, then upgrade. Yeah. Use your diamond to upgrade. So see, uh, see Nick, you have... The, yeah, there you go. And now what you can do is you can keep it on your back and, and get a feel for it. Yeah. Because Please. the monsters will always attack the thing that attacks them. So what you want to do is you want to kite the monsters away from your shuttle. Got it. And that's one of, that's one of the dimensions of the strategy of it. Well, and the other one is I remember there was uh, an area where you could make the ground like uh, somehow enhanced and it would give you a better laser, which is what's going over uh, down at the bottom here. Oh, yeah. So you got to uh, find a way to essentially make the ground, you know, in that enhanced state, and then you're going to be able to get the attribute bonuses from it, I guess. That's right, yeah, yeah you double the, the power. But also, um, move with the right mouse button because you get a better visibility for the whole land. Oh, sure. All right, so I should be really harvesting more strawberries while I'm doing this, so I don't want to get too That's distracted. Right. That's right, yeah. And then I should be able to get another gun. All right, so what is this one? So click and hold to fire manually. Nearby turrets will also target. Okay. So I remember when I played this for my video, I got kind of outclassed pretty quickly, and I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong, but I think I was also having trouble just sort of getting my head around that I needed to keep uh, balancing between the harvesting the strawberries and actively hunting the enemies. So it's a, it's a fine balance you have to come up with. Oh, poor turret. I knew it well. Stay close to your turret. Repair grab it, them. Grab it, grab it. Swap it, swap it. Eat. There you go. Great. So what happens here is you are... Uh... I know, that's too late. But what <laughs> happens is when a turret uh, screams, uh -huh. uh, it means you have about five seconds before you can save it. And gotcha. so, when, when you swap it with what you have on your back, then it becomes invulnerable while you repair it. Ah. So at some point, it becomes mostly a game of swapping the turrets. Wow, that's a lot. So you gotta actually be watching the turrets, watching the enemies, watching your base, yeah. and also harvesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it, it seems it's cute, the graphics, but what we found at PAX East, is that the people who love the game are hardcore players. Oh, for sure. So it's like, and I wanted to make, the funny thing is I wanted this to be a casual game, but nah. Oh, things evolve sometimes. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm getting completely no. overrun now. I'm pretty much just toast. Yeah, you're pretty toast. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Let's retry that. Um, now there is another thing is, when you click on the right mouse button and you, and you keep it clicked, yeah. you can, you know, you can stay in that mode. Oh, it's like more like a toggle then? Oh no, it's yeah. just while I hold no, it. No, it's, it's more like a press hold type thing. Okay. It's so interesting to see how you play, because it's completely different from my initial strategy, which was just to get as many turrets out as quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, that's the other way. I mean, I guess you can try and look at it more like a shooter versus that, but I think probably the prudent thing would be to try and just get as many turrets like you said. <laughs> Because yeah, what I, I just I, did was a terrible strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I think starting off going tower defense, collect, and then shooter. Then shoot. Oh, so it's like yeah, right, you right. Go for a little of both. And, and protect what you've got so you can build up till till you have to run around and shoot things yourself. Now, is the placement at this point in the game really a factor? It seems like I could probably put these towers just about anywhere, and they would reach about the same. It's really probably later on that that becomes a thing. It's actually better to put them in the in the front line, the lasers, because uh -huh. they are really sturdy. And the thing is, the laser only attacks one enemy at a time. Um, so basically, that means that some of the enemies may go past the turret. So yeah, exactly like like what uh, Alex is saying. It starts like a kind of a action tower defense, mm -hmm. but then it becomes more like an action strategy as the level progress. Mm -hmm. And as the enemies, some of the enemies, for instance, they grab your strawberries and mutate into something else. So your economy, they attack your economy directly. Now it doesn't seem like I've been getting too many strawberries. Is there something that I could do to speed them up a little bit? Um, Later on in the game. All right, I'm just not at that point yet. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just keep running around targeting these guys, and I guess I'll move one of the turrets over to this side so I can get them both firing at the same time. Alright, there's our next batch. Yeah, you can buy a new turret now, I think. Yeah, you have 21 strawberries. <laughs> 
Did you know that in the 17th century, I learned after making the game, or putting it to that level, that in the 17th century in uh, the Netherlands, tulips were more expensive than gold. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's nuts, huh? So actually, it's based on reality. Now, Nick, what you gotta do is you put that turret down and you buy a new one because you're right. gonna get overrun again. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Uh... And see those little fuckers that are shooting at you? <laughs> Right. Those guys actually come from mutation of strawberry with the pink worm, so, like, you know, it starts pretty strong. And by the way, this level has also a challenge mode. Oh, does it? Yeah. This is the easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easy mode. <laughs> Alright, last uh, wave. level has three levels of difficulty, and see the turrets that you have on that level? They will carry over to the next level of difficulty. So there is a kind of persistence of some sort. Okay, right, drop repair. that laser. There repair. you go. Repair. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> so where did I go wrong in there? Where should I have been doing something differently? Alix had the right strategy. <laughs> yeah, it's um... Lots of turrets. You buy turrets, buy turrets, buy turrets, buy turrets. Uh-huh. Like, you want to fill all of those little stations with turrets. As I thought that's possible. what I was trying to do, but then it seemed like the enemies were spawning at a pace faster than I could keep up with them. Totally. <laughs> oh, what is the price of a turret? It's like seven, I think. Like, you could buy one right now? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Every time you have seven, you buy one and you stick it out there. And then you can upgrade them, too, I think. Yeah. Collect strawberry, buy new turret. Oh, yeah, let's... Strawberry. Can we... How do I upgrade? I want to do some of that. Uh... You have to do some research before. Oh, okay. I don't have that yet. Yeah. Do you want me to give you uh, an account uh, that has already... Um, or Alex, maybe you can give it, give him the login so he can access well, I, level... Uh, I don't know that you gave it to me. I, if you did, I, it's lost in our chat. Yeah. Oh. So it or might maybe... be easier for you to send it right to him. Okay. I'll send it. <laughs> well, how are we doing on time right now? Uh, you've got about five minutes, so you should be able to show off a little bit of that deep... Gameplay. Okay. I believe. Now, from what I saw in some of the later areas, uh, there were some pretty like massive Ooh. fights going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what yeah, kind of funny. these these worms turn into larger worms and like crazy other mutations, right? Yeah, you guys should understand that there is a a depth to this game. That, uh, mm -hmm. that can't be shown in 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, in, in a half an hour at all. I mean, even just in the video I did, uh, and that was, I think, like around the same amount of time, and I went through about four or five of the levels in that, it started to change pretty, uh, you know, seriously uh, from the very beginning. Because, I, I, you know, as you start any game, you're going to get a little bit of a tutorialization element, and then things start to open mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So that is firmly where we are at this point. So I would say you kind of have to experience it yourself a little bit to get some of the wider breadth of what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Get more turrets, put that one down, let that one guy take care of himself. Yeah, I just keep waiting for more uh, strawberries to come out and they don't. <laughs> you have there they are. One? Dude, you're getting really... You, you, you're getting much better already. Uh, I sent you the account. Uh, hmm. Alright. On the Skype, if you have a chance. Because that's pretty spectacular. Level, uh, level 10 Nightmare. Uh, <laughs> I think which is what uh, Alex is talking about is um, you you get a good feel for the game by showing that and level 10 nightmare oh even yeah, one minute of it yeah even one minute of it <laughs> all right you want me to just back out from here and i'll go find that that'd be nice yeah all right see so, the baby sore so right now lauren you've got uh the game is on green light and yep. the game is also on kickstarter and I'm pretty sure you can also pre-purchase the game on your website, right? Yeah, I took that out so that you can only purchase it from Kickstarter. That makes sense. That's a, that's a good idea to make sure that everybody supports where you need the support. That's right. That's, that's good. That's awesome. Um, so how is how is the green light stuff going? Have you have you oh, been I watching it? <laughs> no, I stopped watching. <laughs> You stop watching. <laughs> it can be it can be difficult to look at your green light page sometimes. I totally well, understand. You, you know, Alex, we, we had a chat about that. The uh, the case of Macroid is uh, 
is typical of marketing. It's like, I have no idea to market this game, right? Because I don't, I'm just starting to realize what it's about. And, and so basically I'm not, I'm not worried about, uh, about green light that much. It's when we find the angle through which we can show the game properly, I think it's going to pick up. Hmm. That's a good attitude to have, I think, because there's so much potential inside of the game. It definitely is. Thank you. And the Kickstarter, the idea is that we, our community have been asking for certain features which uh, are, uh, are, you know, would completely expand the game and uh, create some kind of... Um, anyway, there's some, something to do with user-generated content with it. And, uh, and so, yeah, we want to involve people more in the process. All right, so I'm all the way out. Yes. I'm going to head on to level 10. The level deserted 10. base is what you want me to go to. Yeah, the uh, last one. Yep. One more. There you go. And the nightmare, the one with the fire. All right, you got it. <laughs> fire <laughs> Let's wow. see how quickly they button. can kill me. <laughs> one more. One more. There you go. Boom. Let's see. So there's also a, a co-op mode in this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. kind of a big thing. Oh, how could we have not mentioned that until now? <laughs> oh, wow. Full player co-op. Wow, there's a, there's a lot going on. Oh, oh my goodness, boy. what is even going what on? What's attached to me? <laughs> oh, wow. Those are called factories, and what they, they do is they generate <laughs> robots. And those robots will follow you and do your bidding. So, for instance, if you click somewhere, they will go where you want them to go and attack what you want them to attack. All right, we can do that. So so earlier when I said that there's a depth to this game, yeah, yeah, apparently. Well, ignore that. That was the most ridiculous understatement that I could have possibly yeah. made. Yeah, this is like an entirely different game. <laughs> this is like completely evolutionary from where we were before. And one of the weapons that you can see, it's got, it's black, this one right next to you, on the right. That big, um, how to describe it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's, it's got... hard with the lag. I'm not sure which yeah. one you mean, but, oh, okay, I think I know. So, yeah, that one. So swap your factory with this one. And that's... Oh, have you wow. played R-Type? Yes, I have. That's R-Type wave cannon right here. Oh. <laughs> that is badass <laughs> looking. R-Type is actually one of the biggest inspiration of this game, and Dune 2 as well. And so that's basically the combination. Alright, so strategy-wise, I have basically no idea what I'm doing, but it's pretty cool to watch <laughs> everything running around. <laughs> <laughs> so... Right now, the good thing is to keep your things alive and deploy a lot of experimental weapons, which are, you press 5, and you, you will see. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm adding all kinds of, what are these? So they're, they're like towers, essentially? I'm going to be dropping yeah. these? Uh, actually, you can deploy them anywhere on the map. Turrets. So this one is a Gatling gun, a sentry gun, like in Aliens. Yeah. Uh, there is a mine, which is like an oil barrel that you just drop uh, rapidly. Wow, okay, yeah, this is complete. Oh, yeah, man. this is wild. <sighs> if you could get to this in 10 levels, I. Wow. <laughs> this is just like, yes, I have to get, I have to get the, the copy of this game up and playing on my computer much more frequently. <laughs> I haven't gotten to like past level 5. Level 10 looks so awesome. Did you take any inspiration from Borderlands? Because I feel like the style with the music feels a little like it's going in that direction. Uh, no, actually, I, I never played it. Not so much, uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, yeah, somehow we are arrived to the same look. And, man, it's awesome when people compare it. Yeah. I, I just looked at it, it's a beautiful game. Alright, so I, I can't tell if I'm about to die here or what. <laughs> you're How's... good. No, no, you're doing good. I'm good, okay. Yeah. But I'm well, only on wave experience. 4 of 21, so... <laughs> You can zoom out if you want by uh, scrolling your mouse wheel. Yeah. Out and in, you know, you can get really in the oh, action. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, there's a big view there, and then we can get a yeah. little closer. And if you click on the radar, which is at your lower left corner, with your mouse. All oh, right, um, Lauren, the bigger time is pretty much up, so I'm just gonna add in the next call, and we can kind of merge over to them. Again, okay. okay. So if there's anything else you want to say, now is the time to say it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all of well. these hundreds of people here. 
Well, thanks a lot for the show and uh, and go on Kickstarter, find uh, MacDroid. Uh, I will add the link and then uh, pledge your support for uh, some really cool stuff. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for giving me the opportunity to play it. I, I love this game, actually. I'm not a huge strategy person in general, so it's a big deal uh, that I got into this one. So, oh. That's I'm a actually, lot. I'm looking forward to playing with Valor. Yeah. Uh, hello there. <laughs> hello. Oh, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, we're oh, just wrapping up. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with Alex because um, I'm, I do better with like the shoot 'em up kind of stuff, and she does better with micromanaging, micromanaging things. Micromanagement strategy. So Please. like, this is kind of like, it's, it's amazing that this has like all of these uh, the depth that the meteors you know, that you like. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! You know, and the there's like a million the diamonds cannon? over here. <laughs> Calvin will be with the wave cannon. You know, Calvin, actually, you can have a three wave cannon on your Magdroid, like wow. each factory. Or you can have like a three missile launcher, taste like taste like coil. Awesome. Yeah. So if, game you, if you like well. red alert, you know how the taste like coil they yeah, yeah. bite each other. You can have that. Awesome. Guys, seriously, go check this out over on Greenlight. I'm sure the links have been filtering through on the chat over and over again. So go click on it. Give some support. Definitely, you guys. Right. This is a game that really deserves to be up on Greenlight and to be kickstarted. So send them your love. And if you don't have money, just tweet about it and spread the word. Because spreading the word finds people with money. So there. Kick light it. Green Kick start. light it. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks yeah, very much. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming thanks for coming to we should, we should voice chat more often. Totally. <laughs> Alright. Alright, 